Hello everybody, welcome to this week's technology tip. For this week's tip, I want to share with you a website that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. The website's called Rubistar. And what Rubistar does is it allows you to search for a bunch of rubrics that have already been created for a wide variety of topics. And it also allows you to easily create your own customized rubric for any project or assignment that you give the kids. To get started, go to rubistar.forteachers.org. When you get there, this is uh, the website, you're going to want to go over here in the top right hand corner and click sign up. It's free, easy to do, it takes a few seconds. It'll ask for some information, but the nice thing is once you're registered, then you could create a rubric and save it so that you could come back to it later. If you're interested in searching for a rubric, over here on the right hand side, there's um, a section where you can type in um, keywords for your search. And you can search titles, names, or by different authors because you can share your rubric once you've completed it. But what I want to do is show you how to create one. So I'm going to scroll down here where it says create a rubric. You have a couple of different choices. You can choose oral projects, multimedia, math, writing, products, music, science, work skills, art, or reading. I'm just going to select multimedia. And actually once I do that, you'll see that um, all those topics, they have kind of a breakdown of subtopics that you could do for your rubric. So I'll just scroll down a second so you can see some of those. You see there's a lot of um, built-in kind of templates for you to use. I'm just going to do digital storytelling. And because I am logged in, it will automatically have my rubric information here. I'm going to give it a project name. I'm just going to call it a sample project for now. Where it says demonstration rubric, I'm going to just keep this one as temporary, but you can choose that it is a permanent rubric. Now to get started with your rubric, here it has uh, categories, and categories will be on the left hand side, point values will be here across the top, and you can change those point values if you want to. Just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to keep it at the 4321. And then based off of whatever topic you select, it will automatically populate some category choices for you. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put down point of view purpose. Once I select that topic, you'll see that it automatically will populate the different criteria to get the different point values. You can add to this just by clicking in and typing or you can delete and change it if you want to. But one of the things that I found through using this website is that they're you know, pretty good with the, what they have right off the bat. So I'm going to go down now and select the second category to grade on. Grammar will be important. Again, notice it populates it. We go down to the next section. Uh, let's talk about duration of the presentation. Maybe I gave a requirement that the presentation had to be at least four minutes. So here it's four, and then length of the presentation was three minutes, and so on. And again, I could click in there and customize. And let's just give it one more category, and we'll put down images. So once you're done with that, you have it the way that you want it. You go down all the way to the bottom. Notice they do give you a lot of different categories that you can choose to use. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click Submit because it allows me to preview my rubric. It says it's not yet saved in the database. But here's what my rubric will look like. And from here, you, know, you could preview it. I could either print or download it. I'm just going to select Print gives you some directions specific to how you can do it. You can even download it as an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go to print the rubric. And don't worry, this nice pink background doesn't stay with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now go up to File, Print. And I'm going to actually print it as a PDF. And I'll save that. And that's how easy it is. So really quick, really easy way to make awesome rubrics. If you have any questions on how to use this, feel free to let me know. Have a wonderful week.